welcome back to Bioshock. We have now arrived at the smuggler's hideout, and if you remember last time, we managed to defeat the traitorous Peach Wilkins. You know, the Ned Kelly look-alike. Fancy having to sacrifice my weapons, and then he goes and throws Molotov cocktails at me. Still, we went to the machine called P... What was it called? Power to the People? And managed to upgrade our pistol, which has gone a bit brown with a yellow type of knob on it. Right, so our task now is to head to the submarine bay and finally free Atlas's family. Now, this obviously was a route that Fontaine took to get his smuggled goods, like tobacco and what, 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 what was that? Another flashback? It looked like my family. I mean the character's family, not my family. So yeah, this tunnel was obviously used to smuggle goods to the tavern from the submarine bear. Look right outside the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. Yeah, I'm on my way. Don't worry. Don't worry, Atlas. It'll all become clear in time. And why is there a mattress in the water? Somebody tried to sleep here? I don't think it was dumped anywhere. No, don't need the gene bank for now. One of those tubes. Yeah, that's the last time I give up my weapons. Now you can see this one. Oh! I gotta say, you can see the hand of Fontaine. Right, let's get round here and zap! Oh! And zap! And where's the health kit at the same time? I just heard that once we find his family, we can actually get out of here. I think we've spent too much time in Rapture. I get a get the feeling it's not gonna be the end. Not if Ryan has ever anything to do with it. Right, last one. Right. Now, because empty these crates without no bother. It's always good to open all the crates because you know you never know what's inside them. Um, food, health kits, potato chips, yeah. Eve, shotgun. Scotch? No, I don't want scotch. Me too, with Fontaine. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. Yeah, but obviously they did because you fell out with Fontaine. So whatever Fontaine did to you must have been serious. All right, moving on. Further into the cave. God, I've tried to avoid getting the old booze, to be honest. So I just want your pistol. Submarine Bay. Hit the switch up there in the control booth and let me in. I think it's time to shake hands and get acquainted. Ooh, it's about time. Open the hatch. You had your fun, but enough is enough. If you press that button, you'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. <laughs> I'm already your enemy. After all, you called me a parasite earlier on when I was getting that incinerate. Uh, the bloodied hand of Fontaine. Oh. 
was meant to grab the cigarette. Let's get to this hat. We've got Cumber over here. I'm going to have to use the wrench to get into the control room. Yeah, it's a lock. A bit obvious, really. Right. What can possibly go wrong? A trap. Should have known. Ryan's doing Zyphid or his Atlas. That again, and one was trying to get through. Why can't hold? I've got to fall back. Get me family out, and we'll regroup as soon as we can. Ah, doors open. Right, let's get out of here. Right. Oh no, you don't. Oh, don't think the work. Yeah, uh, I don't think it works with uh, spider splices. There we go. We got us a spider splicer. Right. Ooh, telekinesis could work on this. Right, let's uh that? No, not the rock. I don't think it's allowing me to pick that up. Oh, let's just chuck a rock at them. Uh, incinerate. Ben. Whoa! And explode as well. Right, let's get round here. Can't load your shotgun. gun. Oh, you would walk into the flame. I think the words foolish bring to mind. And the wasting elf kit. Ah, pistol rounds are full. Right. Whoa! <laughs> How many is there? The meat hat. Let's get the wrench back. Crap scientist. That's such a poop thing. Spend more than John with that crowd scientist. She Damage goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make me the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan look like he's running a paper route. She just needs some supplies to get the ball rolling and a friend to watch her back. Yeah, the first voice of Fontaine, and I think he was on about Tenenbaum. Right, we're nearly there. Whoa! Bye-bye, oh! sub. You ooze in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it or eliminate it. 
Excuse me, Ryan, but it wasn't my fault that I ended up in Rapture. I get involved in a plane crash, have to swim to a lighthouse, and enter a sub. Get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! Arcadia, right. Well, at least it took the spider splicers with them. Uh, his family are no more. Well, nothing we can do. But head for Arcadia, as he says. Cake. The Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. Right, so that must be when he decided to go it alone. Well, oh, didn't want cigarettes. Right, let's use the bulkhead and get to Arcadia. Right, we've now arrived. Arcadia. to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum, gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep, so later you might remember the taste. You get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then, all debts will be paid in full. Go to the metro station. Oh, don't worry, Atlas. I'll deal with Ryan, eventually. He's gonna get what's coming to him. You got a component. Collect components to make things you invent. Well, that must be something... something new? Kerosene. Make fire. Yep, he's definitely going to peer around, but I don't know about Atlas now. I fear for his sanity. <laughs> Tea garden. Hmm, I think we're going to need to stop off and have a cup of tea and, um... You know, afternoon tea, some cu cucumber sandwiches, etc. In a graveyard. I'll pop in here for the moment. Collect some more stuff like mines and liquid nitrogen. Okie dokie. And a corpse. $23. Imagine, at least I now got my health back up to five because there was in danger after that battle of uh, whittling down to nothing. Tea garden. <laughs> what are you waiting for, city? It's beautiful! What, you mean me? Go through there? Okay, but I'm going to listen to this diary first. Tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business. One poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Leaks, lunatics, rebellion, and now bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in rapture grand? 
<laughs> well, I guess it's the plasmids uh, doing the work again. Remember last time we saw the ghost? It was, uh, I think it was that Diane McClintock who was, um, well, she wasn't impressed with, sorry? Yeah, Diane wasn't impressed by uh, what had happened to her uh, with Dr. Steinman. What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we gathered that the females Angelina and that was Dita, a couple. Well, we'll have to see what happened to them too later on. Meanwhile, there's a male splice who wants help. First thing first, Eve and another diary. The augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the hosts, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. Mm. Did they produce the little sisters? As well as a big daddy to try and go after Ryan, I wonder. Because, I mean, it's Fontaine and Tenenbaum together. And, of course, Ryan is after Fontaine. But something must have changed Tenenbaum's mind a little bit. Right, is somebody there? Right, let's pick up the supplies near the rock. Real Barrett. Okay, so Rapture Metro and Arcadia Glen's this way. They're everywhere! What's everywhere? Who's everywhere? Where did you go? But, but, wait, what, what, what? Shadow? What, are you trying to be a magician and do a disappearing act? Plenty of oil. Hang on, I'm going to get my camera out, because after all he's a splicer, but he seems to be a splicer that does a disappearing act. Uh, I need to zoom in. Quick photo, a C. Oh, I don't care about grids. Houdini splicer. Houdini splicer is a vulnerable time to personnel around. Hey, over here! Right, in that case... I have to get my uh, machine gun out. Look around here. One kerosene, good. Dollars and... Behind you! Oh no you don't! You're not going to make me jump. Right. Come on, you Houdini splicer. Reload to proper machine gun round. Right, he went through here. Got ya. $31 chlorophyll solution. What the does that do? And first aid kit. Right. Okay, let's have a look in here. Storeroom of some sort. Coffee. Well, we've got flickering lights. 
Oh well, I'm going to have to take the cigarettes because I need that pet bar. I need the electricity back. I wish they would die. Well, you must have been following me all this time. Diary Arcadia closed? Today Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? Oh, I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my check. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in other words, you basically were going to open it up for free, but Ryan says, oh, no, 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 it's got to be the paying customer, i.e. the rich. Yeah, that figures. Right, automatic hack tool, good. First aid kit. Right, let's go this way. <laughs> 